Hey guys, Kyle here, Unboxed Autos. We're here with Derek uh, from Hyundai. And we are here in their fuel cell vehicle. It is the Nexo, it's their only fuel cell vehicle. Um, obviously one of very few um, available on the market today. We're gonna go ahead here at their proving grounds. We're gonna start driving it. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the oval as they call it and uh, take it for a little bit of a high speed run. And um, you know, so basically, you know, Derek, start us off. Tell us, you know, what is a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle for mm. those of us, you know, who don't know. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicle uses hydrogen to generate electricity in real time, uh, much like an electric vehicle. In fact, it is an electric vehicle. Technically, it's a fuel cell electric vehicle. So when people ask, how does it drive? It drives like an electric vehicle. The main difference is that it makes its power real time on demand through an electrochemical process. So uh, think of it as as a advanced electric vehicle. All right, cool. Now, yeah, this is, you know, I'm driving it right now. You know, I, I noticed that, um, you know, it really does, you know, drive like an electric car. Obviously, you know, tell us about, you know, some of the benefits obviously are that, you know, is you can basically fill it up at any hydrogen station. Obviously, there aren't a ton of those around, but, um, you know, there's no like two or three hour charging time to, to fill it up. So. Right, yeah, the main benefits of a, of a fuel cell electric vehicle are a very rapid refueling time, very similar to gasoline. Basically about five minutes is, is what a, uh, a fuel cell electric vehicle takes to refuel. Um, that's what, uh, with the latest technology, that is about the refueling time. But for that, you get an incredible range of 380 miles. So that's what most people are used to for their SUVs. Um, you know, being able to drive for quite a while without refilling. So very similar refueling and, and range experience, very similar to a gasoline powered uh, uh, SUV. And that's why we think it's a good fit for the Nexo. Gotcha. Now, obviously, so, you know, as far as some pros and cons between, you know, electric vehicles and a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle like this, you know, what off the top of your head, you know, is, is something like that? Well, the, the main thing with uh, the main benefit, there are three main benefits, uh, uh, the refueling speed we covered, the superior range, and then the um, full scalability of this technology. When you have a fuel cell vehicle, this fuel cell stack can be scaled all, all the way from an A-class vehicle, which is like you see in Europe, all the way to a semi-truck tractor trailer or a large bus. So it's completely scalable, tremendous versatility with this type of powertrain platform. So that's really, really versatile. The fuel cell uh, really finds its best spot in heavier and larger vehicles. Um, that's its sweet spot. Electric vehicles really do well in smaller applications up to mid-sized cars um, because of the weight and the cost of batteries. So that's kind of where the two vehicles fit together. Hyundai actually believes in both technologies as important solutions for our eco uh, goals. So both both technologies coexist. They're not competing. They complement each other. Sure, sure. Now, obviously, I, I assume that you know most of the fueling stations are now on the West Coast. So I assume most of them that you sell are, are sold in the West, on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. um, now, what does a Nexo cost? Uh, the, the retail price is in the 60, 60K range. Okay. Um, and uh, But most people are leasing this for about $3.99 a month. Okay. And that does include uh, all your fuel. Okay. So uh, up to uh, thirteen thousand uh, dollars a year for fuel. Oh, so wow. okay. yeah, so that's included in the lease. And so now, are there like government incentives and rebates on this car? Is that why it's so much cheaper to lease? Or um, to you know, lease? Part, part of it is uh, our company is it's a priority for our company to gotcha. to make it an attractive lease, and the competitive environment is such that that's a good price point for uh, people who want an SUV hydrogen fuel cell. Gotcha. Um, uh, yeah, there are some some government uh, incentives, but um, when you lease the vehicle, that's all included. In that, I, I got you. Okay. In that package. Very good. Very good. And then, uh, yeah, so you have about 380 miles of range, you said, on a full tank. It's yes. about five minutes to charge or to, to refuel, refuel, rather, at a hydrogen fueling station. Uh huh. Uh, and it costs you so about four hundred dollars a month after incentives and stuff to lease. That's right. Plus the you said fifteen thousand dollars a year in free fueling. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thirteen thousand. But 13, but uh, for for most the the lion's share of people, most most sure. folks, that's more than enough fuel. Um, again, what, when we design the lease, what we want is we want people to have a a uh, carefree ownership experience. So basically, we wanted to take the fuel cell the fuel concerns out of the picture. Here's your lease price for that. Almost everyone's going to be satisfied with the free fuel range because it's it's going to meet most people's needs. Sure. Um, I think you alluded to earlier the infrastructure. There's about 45 stations in the California area. Um, currently, that's where most of the stations are. There are only a few on the East Coast, Northeast, 
and we expect that infrastructure to grow in the very near future. But right now it's about 45 stations. So uh, around 25 in Southern California, around close to 20 in, uh, in Northern California. Gotcha. Okay. And this is actually my first time driving a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Um, and having driven you know, a lot of electric cars, I can tell the viewers that it really does just basically drive like an electric car. Mm. Super quiet, has regenerative braking. Um, you know, this car in particular is very comfortable, it's quiet, um, very spacious, has, you know, all the creature comforts, heated steering wheel, cooled seats, heated seats, sunroof, etc. Nice infotainment system. So yeah, it's really, it's a, it's a neat package. It's a neat yep. package. Couldn't agree more. It's a very luxurious experience in my opinion. Um, the, the, you know, the, it's the quietness gives you a lot of luxury and the materials are, are, are upgraded a lot from the Tucson fuel cell, which was our previous iteration fuel cell. This is the Nexo. This is a dedicated platform and that's why I think you're appreciating ah, okay. the, uh, the the more detailed, full com comprehensive development. Right. Yeah, I, I see the steering wheel. I don't see the steering wheel on any other product. It's a neat, it's neat. You know, Absolutely. It makes it feel like something special. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today on the 2020-2021 Hyundai Nexo fuel cell vehicle, hydrogen. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this car, please drop in the comments below, and we'll talk to you guys next time. And Derek, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Pleasure.